Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unpacking and building the shipping container set from Battle Systems. Here we go, here's our shipping container set from Battle Systems Tabletop Games and Terrain. And this is a great little piece that I got this week delivered, and it came to £4.25. And you're going to find this online from anywhere between £4 and £5. And I'll put a load of links in the description where you can find all the Battle Systems range. Their website's awesome, it's got everything they do on there, and it's packed with tutorials and loads of great information as well. So they, if you haven't seen them already, they do terrain for all different games for like sci-fi, fantasy, apocalypse and modern like kind of warfare as well. So anything you're looking for, you're pretty much going to find it there and it's a great system. So I'll put links in the description. Some will be affiliate links, but they won't cost you anything extra. In fact, you can save up the 20% on the RRP and you also support the channel because I get a commission too. So thanks for that. It's really awesome. Yesterday, I did an unboxing and build of this great set, the Frontier Core set. And later this week, I'll be unboxing and building the Shanty Town set and also the City Block core set as well. And the Shanty Town set comes with a shipping container and all these little things already. But I think you can never have too many shipping containers and I thought it'd be awesome to get another one. And also just to have a look at what these little packs are like, because I've never bought one of these before. So I thought it'd be cool to find out. Right, so let's get it open, build it all up, and I'll just put it alongside that terrain I built for the Frontier Core set, just so you can see what it looks like. Put some minis next to it, and give you a good idea of the size as well. But scale-wise, this is for 28 to 35 millimeter miniatures. No painting required. It's all printed on like good quality thick card. And in this ship shipping container upgrade pack, we're gonna get one shipping container, one dumpster, three assorted cargo crates, four pallets, and a little hatch counter as well. So yeah, so the price I paid was 425, but certainly look around and definitely go to the Battle Systems website. So here's the back where we can see exactly what we're gonna get. And we're gonna pop all these out of the card and just put them together. Really easy to build, really fun as well. It just reminds me of being a kid putting stuff like this together. But then when you can play it on a tabletop with a battle going on with all your miniatures you've painted, I think it's just great fun. So here we go. So you can see on both sides, you've got the option of doing two different colors. So that's pretty cool for these, I didn't know that. And uh, let's get rid of that. So it's just that little bit of paper there. So great, so double-sided, everything's like printed on both sides. So you can see we've got this roof hatch tile here. Uh, so that's gonna be the hatch shut. But if you open it, it's as if you can look down inside and see the floor. So that's really nice. It's gonna be push fit, but there is a little bit of glue in to do. Um, you shouldn't have to glue this, I don't think, but I think we're gonna have to glue some pallets and we can glue the crates as well if we want it, which is much better. And they recommend that on the channel. There's no instructions with this, but if you go to battlesystems.co.uk, they've got all the tutorial videos on there for everything they make. So you, you know, you're gonna find exactly what you need and how to do it and um, get stuck in. And the good thing with the big sets, like these ones, is they got the instructions via those videos, but once you've learned how to put it together, you can literally make it up in any format you like. So it's, you can have a terrain that's never the same twice, so that's really good. But let's get back to this shipping container and we'll start building it now. So let's pop out this shipping container and we'll get this built first. So you can see it comes out really easy. It's got little fine bits like this, so just be a little bit careful there. You can always run a little blade through it if you like, but the big chunks like this are scored so well. So just get all the bits marked shipping container, pop them all out, get those out as well. And then we'll just put that one to one side and come back to it in a second. So here's all our pieces that we're gonna build this with. And so now let's put it together. Okay, so I'm gonna build mine in blue. And so we just take these little slots, pop them in like this, squeeze it in, and then we do the same with the other one. There was one in the video I watched where it showed that this little gap was really thin. So if you find you're having to really force it, then um, you might need to trim it a little bit. So let's have a look and just see how we go here. But that went on quite cool. So that's on, really flat, nice and smooth. And so that just stands up on its own, really nice and easy. And then we pop in this one inside. So these are gonna be both the same size, I think. Oh no, one's a bit smaller. So it's the thinner one goes in. And then if you wanna keep it one color, you could glue that base, you could glue that together, but that's pretty sturdy. 
as it is. And I'm, I'm not sure if I want to keep it blue or if I do a different battlefield, I might want to change it to the other color. So I'm going to do it so I can take it apart and then rebuild it in the other color. But for me, that's really sturdy. You know, you can even like bash it. It's going to come out a little bit. But if we pop it back in, it's no problem. And when you put it on the battlefield, the chances are you're just going to leave it in place anyway. And then when you put it away, just store it on the shelf or in a box or whatever. So that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then we've got the lid. So the same thing with the lid. We're going to obviously go with a blue lid and then keep it so that we can reverse it. No problem. But you get these two little pieces. So if you wanted to glue this onto here like that, then that's going to give you a little edge all the way around that you can pop on this and it's not going to move. But again, I want to change the color. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I might put a little bit of blue tack to hold it in place. And I think that'll work fine, no problem. I think you could even just glue one piece on each side, you know, in a different color. And then you could still flip it and it would hold it a little bit in place. So I might do that later on. But just to give you an idea of how easy it is to put together. And that's our cargo crate all ready to go. I'll just show you the pallet next really fast. And then I'll build the other bits and then we'll put them on the battlefield. Because it's cool to see it all put together. So let's grab a, a little pallet. And for everything else, all these other bits, there's videos for all this on the channel for on the sorry on the website, the Battle Systems website. So definitely go and check that out. Uh, but here we are. So you basically just pop these little bits out. If you're having trouble, just run a little blade down there first. But most of the time, it just pops out really easy. Push it through, and then you could use the pallet like that. But they recommend on the video to take these little pieces and then just glue them in place underneath just to give you a little bit more height and a little bit more shape to it so i think that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to glue those on now build the other parts and then i'll show you what it all looks like put together and there we go there's all the pieces put together now we've got the shipping container the trash bin we've got those crates and the um, little pallets as well so a real nice little collection here from this one sheet and really happy how it looks. I like that you can change the color of the shipping container. I think that's really awesome. And then when we put it on the Frontier set, it kind of works with that. But I think really, once we get this Shantytown core set and the city built, that city block, I think it's going to look really good once we put it in that setting. Grab some minis now. I've got the Space Marine Raptor here. And I think he's maybe a little bit too big for it to look like a shipping container. But this guy, this is more like it, one of the Cadians. He kind of fits the size a lot better. And then the figure that it's really designed for, the core space miniatures, they work really nice. There's one of the purge there. So that gives you a good idea of just how big it is. And then we've got the little hatch as well that we can put on top of the roofs of a building. So we can put it there to represent that it's closed or open. And then we can either climb down or shoot down that hatch as well. But it definitely works size-wise with these true 28 mil size figures. You can see you've got plenty of cover there. It's completely obscured and the purge can't see around the container whatsoever. You can even take the lid off and he can hide inside and the purge will never find him. So the figures fit in there, no problem. So that works really well. So he can get carried off and escape the clutches of the purge. So once he's taken away, the purge will have no idea where he's gone. And so he can make his escape before coming back to fulfill the objective on the battlefield. So these are the urban apocalypse style crates and these are the ones that come in the set. But these ones here are from the frontier, which is more the futuristic style. So you can see they're a little bit different. And on the lid, we've got that extra bit of card that we can glue on. And then that keeps the lid on really tight so you can fill it with the different items. Now the, these ones aren't gonna come with that extra bit of card that you can glue on, but it wouldn't take anything just to get some card, glue some little squares, cut them out, glue them on and then you'll get the same effect. And you'll also notice these little side bits, how they're put together are a little bit different, but it doesn't take anything away from the game. No problem. I mean, either way works just fine. I do like the modern ones a little bit better, but these are great. I like the medic kind of symbol on one of these as well. Then we've got this cart, this dust cart, which is really cool. And that lid can be glued on like that, the two bits of card. And it's even got little wheels at the bottom, which I thought was really fun. And um, if you put it up against a wall, you can even prop the lid open so I'll do that here just to show you what it looks like so you can take the lid off lean it against the wall and then if you get really into the game you can even chuck one of the purge in there and um, he's history he's had enough 
And then I found this picture on the Battle Systems website, which shows what it would look like in an urban apocalypse. And it looks great not fixing the side of that crate, so you can take it off and then open it up as if it's been busted open. And they're pulling out all the supplies that they need when they've done a search. So you can see these miniatures are going to be like 28 mil style miniatures and you can get loads of these i'll be un unpacking and showing you some different ones from different companies on the channel real soon because we've also got some zombie games coming i can't wait for that so there we go that's the little set just over four pound you're going to pick it up for anything between four and five pound you're going to get these pieces in the shantytown core set as well but i just wanted an extra shipping container i thought it would be fun just to check out what these single packs are like but the bigger sets certainly give you a load more value um, you get tons of pieces in there, but this is nice if you want some extra pieces to add it on. And I'll put links to battlesystems.co.uk where you can find out all about them in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and there'll be loads more coming over the next week or so with the battle systems terrain as I build the shanty town, the city block and also that fantasy village. I'll show you some battle maps that they make as well. So yeah, it's going to be really busy for terrain this week and um, an awesome week. I'm really enjoying putting all this together and sharing it with you. But thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description. It'll be great to see you there.